Hi, everyone, and welcome to a new broadcast of Larissa Gabi Show. It's such a wonderful day today. We have very much sun in Norway, and I'm also very happy because I'm having my queen sister that I met of recent. At, uh, we had a competition in New York this year. Uh, for the Queen of the World pageantry, and uh, she's here tonight, today, with me on my platform. Welcome, dear. Happy to see you. Yeah, uh, thank you, and um, thank you so much for uh, inviting me. I'm Shobha Kalyana Swami, and again, thank you so much for the invitation. You're, you're welcome. welcome to the show. Thank yeah. you so much. I'm so happy that you could make time. You are in India and uh, we have very much, I mean, like six hour differences of hours. It's, yeah, three and a half hours, but it's still a good amount of difference. So thank you for the, uh, for accommodating me. Yeah, you're welcome. It was such a wonderful experience to meet you and I really admire you, your kindness. You are, you are this queen that was always like, I saw you very, very relaxed. Even when sometimes we were in a situation that we panic and you were just yourself and that I admire about you. Well, thank I, you. Would, <laughs> yeah. I would like you to present yourself again and tell us what you're doing in your daily life and you are a wife, family. Yes, sure. So thank you again uh, for this opportunity. So yes, it was uh, a, a wonderful experience in the pageant and it was, uh, uh, you know, Really lovely meeting you and uh, other sister queens as well, but you in particular, because I had the opportunity to really talk to you a lot in person. And, uh, you know, even in those uh, in the dance show, you were just literally two, uh, two places be behind me. So we had a lot of opportunity to connect. So uh, it was a great experience. As far as I'm concerned, I work in India. I uh, work uh, as a software engineering manager uh, in Hyderabad in India. And uh, yeah, I'm married to a doctor and we do have a daughter in college. So, uh, and yeah, and uh, uh, you know, I basically love reading, meeting people. I love animals. So that's it about me. And uh, as far as, um, you know, my platform goes, I do uh, uh, really like to work for underprivileged children. And uh, I am actually working uh, uh, with a few other people uh, to basically sponsor some underprivileged kids in the, in India. And what's really wonderful is the gender ratio, which is almost 50-50. So I'm passionate about that as well. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. Um, I know you, how many children you have? I have one daughter. That's it. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I know she just got graduated for, because yes. I oh, saw, that. saw on Facebook. <laughs> yes. yes. Congratulations again, because Thank when you. children graduate, we are the parents that are also being graduated. Yes. And, You're uh, so uh, correct. <laughs> You're so right. So yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. So I want to ask you, why did you join the pageantry? Yes, actually, this was something which is very new to me. And five years ago, if anyone had asked me this question, that would you ever participate in a pageant, I would have just laughed it off. I would have thought, you know, that was the most irrelevant question. But I actually think it was the best experience I've had. So uh, four years ago, some of my friends in the WhatsApp school group talked about uh, a lady who had actually won a title in a, a pageant within India. And, uh, uh, you know, she was also not from a pageantry background. She was uh, uh, the vice principal of a school in one of the towns in India. And I thought if she could do it, why should I not give it a try? So I started trying and I tried for a couple of domestic pageants. And then uh, I got this opportunity to, you know, uh, go international. And that's uh, really how I got into pageantry. And I must say, I don't regret it at all. It's been a great uh, experience. I could say the same. It was a great experience for me too. And I came with my kid and uh, and we, we, we did all what we could do. And I believe that everyone have a wonderful time. Yes, and, absolutely. And it was amazing. And I I I know that you have this reason that probably push you to join. But what makes you I know that what is the other reason that makes you not to give up in the middle? Like me at a certain point, I was just like, oh my God, this is too hard. 
And uh, right. then I yes. thought about something. I said, I'm here with my children to make them proud. So I, I won't pick now. So tell me, how did you feel that time that it was hard? And what made you keep on going? Oh, yes. There were many times when I thought, oh, my God, is this really possible? I really don't come from such a background. I come from a very academic background and a very corporate background. Can I do it? But I had the cheering and the, uh, you know, uh, the uh, the well wishes around me, especially my friends and family who kept pushing me to go for it and, you know, kept encouraging me. And I, th and I think it was that push and that encouragement that kept me going. And they were so super proud of, you know, what I was even trying. I think that really made a difference. And uh, I also felt uh, to myself that, you know, once I've decided to go in for it, let me just go ahead and complete this. Wow. That was uh, the big motivation. <laughs> yeah. Yes. To go and complete it. Complete and compete. Yes. That is very important. And it, this is one of the good legacy is to f do everything to finish what you started. It's important. Absolutely. Very important. Very mm. important. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. Um, are you going to go back and compete again or? What oh, you... actually, I haven't really thought of it since I have a, I've already competed in two domestic pageants and one international. Mm -hmm. So now I'm actually changing jobs and I'm switching companies. So I'm kind of focusing on that. I'm mm -hmm. also pursuing an MBA now. So right now my focus is on that. But maybe if I do get an opportunity in the future, I, I may. Um, I haven't really decided, but th that option is always open for me. Exactly. You know, when yes. when I feel you, dear sister, when I was there the last day, I felt like, no, I, I just have to go out of here because I wasn't feeling my leg again. But later, yes. I just feel like this is an experience that if influence and affect your life. Generally, oh, yes. you can't just ignore. It's not like as if you, you just saw something uh, on the road and forget. It changed, yes. it blesses it. And the pigeon world with sister, queen and everything, body, everything. We can't just yes. stop it like that. And we have the opportunity to even compete again and again. So lately I was thinking, no, I have to start looking where to compete again because I feel like I'm not finished yet with that. Yes, yes. <laughs> You're right. After a while, after a bit of rest and unwinding, we start thinking, oh, uh, where should we go again? <laughs> I I think we should go again. We should go on. Yes. Bye. Okay. So um what would you love to say to to children out, out there, young adult? I know you are involved, your platform is about helping children and it's such a it's such a powerful platform you have. And uh, yeah, what would you say to the youngest mm -hmm, to the youngest yes. youth outside? Sure, sure. Uh yes, I would say those you know, who are just right out of college and who are just starting the careers. I think people should not have any inhibitions, mm -hmm. Sh you know, should just basically, you know, shun all self-doubt. All self-doubts should go out the window mm -hmm. and they should just go and, you know, go after the passion mm -hmm. and just not think twice about pursuing what they're really interested in. Wow. Wow. That's powerful. And I Thank think you. it's also very powerful for adults. And even if you are older and somebody's like, I know we have almost the same age, you and I now. But yes. even when we saw like the elite, the, the, the 60, she's 63. Or, 63, yes. Ah, she's she amazing. Was, amazing. Yeah. And then I love the pageant world because it gave opportunity. Even people at the age of 65 can still compete. So 70. Yes, even. So yes. yes. And there, I feel age is a number. Age is really a number. Yeah, if you put your heart to it. I see so many, even over here. I mean, this lady was just amazing at 63. And even over here, I see so many 60, 60 plus year old men compete in marathons mm -hmm. and win the marathons. Then I really start thinking, really, age is a number. It's only we humans who attach a number and label or someone as middle-aged, young or old. Really, it's all in the mind. Exactly. So, awesome, awesome. And thank you so much for coming on my show. And I'm looking forward to see you again. Um, and yeah. probably on my show again, because this is just an introduction. And uh, I believe that we have a lot of things we're going to do together. Uh, today, oh, yes. we cannot say we are limited by 
by the distance or anything. We can do so many things with the media. And I'm so honored. I'm very happy you could show up today. And thank you so much for coming. Love you. Oh, See you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And likewise, it was, uh, I'm, I'm really flattered and honored that you, you actually uh, reached out to me and uh, talk to me. It means a lot. So thank oh, you for that. So welcome. Yeah. My greetings to your family and see you soon, dear. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. I just want to thank you guys who have been watching and see you next time. Bye.